December 20, 1989. A small Central American nation is thrust into the global spotlight as the United States launches a massive military operation. This is the story of the invasion of Panama, a tale of power, betrayal, and international intrigue that reshaped a nation forever. Welcome to Historic Journey. Today, we unravel the suspenseful history of the United States invasion of Panama, a daring operation that sent shockwaves through Latin America and beyond. Panama, a narrow strip of land connecting North and South America, is home to the vital Panama Canal. In the 1980s, this small yet strategically crucial nation found itself under the rule of General Manuel Noriega. Noriega, once a valued ally of the United States and a key figure in American intelligence operations, had become a powerful dictator. However, his regime was mired in corruption, drug trafficking, and brutal repression. Manuel Noriega's relationship with the United States began to sour as his involvement in the drug trade deepened. Despite his initial usefulness to the CIA, his increasing ties to Colombian cartels, and his ruthless grip on power became untenable for the U.S. government. By the late 1980s, tensions were reaching a boiling point. The situation escalated dramatically in 1988, when Noriega was indicted in the United States on charges of drug trafficking and money laundering. The indictment was a clear signal. Noriega was no longer an asset, but a liability. The U.S. imposed economic sanctions on Panama, aiming to isolate Noriega and weaken his regime. The streets of Panama City were filled with protests, and the country's economy began to crumble under the weight of international pressure. As Noriega clung to power, relations with the U.S. further deteriorated. Reports of human rights abuses, election fraud, and the murder of political opponents painted a grim picture. The final straw came in December 1989, when an American serviceman was killed at a Panamanian Defense Forces roadblock. The incident provided the pretext the U.S. needed to act decisively. In the early hours of December 20, 1989, Operation Just Cause was launched. Under the cover of darkness, over 27,000 U.S. troops descended upon Panama. Their objectives were clear, to capture Manuel Noriega, dismantle the Panamanian Defense Forces, and restore order. The invasion was swift and brutal. Key military targets were hit with overwhelming force. In the densely populated neighborhoods of Panama City, fierce firefights broke out, and the sound of gunfire and explosions echoed through the streets. Amidst the chaos, Noriega fled, seeking refuge in the Vatican Embassy. The standoff that followed was tense, with U.S. forces surrounding the embassy, blasting rock music in an attempt to force Noriega out. After 10 days of high-stakes drama, Noriega finally surrendered on January 3, 1990. He was flown to Miami to face trial, marking the end of his reign and the beginning of a new chapter for Panama. The invasion had immediate and long-lasting effects on Panama. The U.S. installed a new government, and efforts to rebuild the country began. Panama's economy slowly recovered, and the nation embarked on a path towards democratic governance. However, the invasion also left scars, both physical and psychological, on the Panamanian people. For the United States, Operation Just Cause was a demonstration of military might and a clear message against dictatorships in the Western Hemisphere. Yet it also sparked global controversy, with critics arguing that the invasion violated international law and set a dangerous precedent for unilateral military intervention. The legacy of the invasion remains complex, it reshaped U.S.-Latin American relations and highlighted the delicate balance of power in the region. The question lingers. Was the invasion a necessary step to remove a tyrant or an overreach of American power? The invasion of Panama is a chapter in history filled with intrigue, conflict, and questions of justice and sovereignty. What do you think? Was it a justified action or an overstep? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Historic Journey for more captivating stories from our past. Until next time, stay curious.